Hey guys, uh, an earthquake happened a few days ago, or Monday, April 22. The first earthquake that happened is 6.1 magnitude of earthquake. Um, they, it was sent to us by a text. It says they, it was 5.7. And uh, it was really scary, actually. It happened during school. Uh, our teacher was teaching. Then the earthquake suddenly happened. It's not as strong as another place in the Philippines, but it wasn't as strong as what happened at 5.7. Multiple earthquakes has happened in the Philippines since April 22 until now. At April 27, at 4 a.m., it happened again. A total of 11 earthquakes since Monday, April 22, a lot has happened. And people are speculating that a big one will happen, a big earthquake will happen. They're speculating that it's gonna be 7, uh, 7.1 magnitude, they're not sure, and 9, point, uh, 9 magnitude would make uh, items on the floor lift above the ground or make it fly. The last big earthquake that happened in the Philippines is the year 1653 that happened. And they said that a huge earthquake, that's the huge earthquake that happened in 1658. And it happens every 400 to 500 years, where it's been 300 years, 360 something years. And they are saying it's gonna happen again. One of the earthquake expertise, the earthquake was so strong that uh, it shook a lot of buildings. Uh, so much that the water on top of the swimming pool, uh, on top of the building, which they have a swimming pool, fall off the pool. There's a lot of video clips on YouTube. You can see it, what happens, and it's there. And it was really scary during school because it's, it's not my first earthquake, so I'm not that uh, scared. But it was the strongest earthquake I have ever felt. Uh, I felt my second earthquake in my room. Uh, everything was shaking, I didn't know what to do, I just laid in bed. When I stood up, I was very dizzy. The, now, when it happened during school, uh, I took out my shoes to feel the ground, so I would have a sense of balance, but it didn't help or work, because I still got di really dizzy. A friend of mine cried because it was her first earthquake, and she thought it was over. Earthquakes are very bad, obviously. A lot of things happen bad things, it could be the end of your life or you have lost someone important to you. And to prepare for those, you actually really need a med kit or a med bag, a backpack full of uh, clothes, medicine, flashlight, cell phone, uh, power bank, water. Water, food, those earthquakes. Hopefully it doesn't happen, hopefully that big one doesn't happen, but it is predicted by earthquake experts. But hopefully it doesn't really happen or it's just a small earthquake. And it's bad to say even if it's like hopefully it ha doesn't happen on land. But it's worse if it goes on water because tsunamis can happen. And if it happens, hopefully it's somewhere that there's no people, no animals, no one there, just alone. Because it happened multiple times. One week. It's been a week it's in and keeps on going, which is crazy. Be prepared. Uh, prevention is better than cure. So be prepared, be ready, have food ready, have uh, your phones, battery, power bank, have those ready, and yeah, that's all.